Hi, my name is Amy and I am from Lehi, Utah. In Romans 8.26, Paul talks about how the Spirit can be our guide as we pray. My question is, how do we actually utilize the gift of the Holy Ghost during our prayers to help us develop a deeper relationship with our Heavenly Father? The Holy Ghost can prompt us on things that we might need to let go of. And Paul uses that image of, of offering yourself as a sacrifice. He talks about in chapter 12 to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So part of, I think, that willingness as, as we're listening to the Holy Ghost and we're getting a prompting, stop doing this or start doing that, that we have a disposition to want to give up something. And sometimes okay. that, that's what we hold back. Like, I don't want to sacrifice. This is my favorite sin. I think listening to the Spirit is, has to be combined with that willingness to offer that whatever it is we have to, to set aside, to lay on the, the altar to say, I want to be closer okay. to the Lord than I want whatever it is that he's asking me to let go of, to have the freedom that he wants to give. Okay. I really like that viewer's question. I think that's really important. For me, the best way that happens is to learn how to pray in a way that invites the spirit, then to wait to be prompted further to know where I go in the prayer. What's the thing the Spirit's prompting me to ask about? I'll give you an example. A few years ago, I was praying for someone close to me who had had a couple really rough years. And I was recalling a time uh, when this person, uh, a loved one, had been, had been asking others to pray and fast for her that she'd feel the Spirit more. She was feeling kind of far from the Spirit. Well, the things in her life that had caused her some difficulty did not end um, anytime soon, and she kind of drifted away from the church and from faith. And one morning I woke up thinking about this and was really quite unhappy. And I prayed, and I began the prayer, was asking the question, why this person? Why wasn't this taken care of? And I could feel myself suddenly far from the Spirit. And I thought, this is the wrong way to ask this prayer. This is the wrong way to begin. So I started again and thought, okay, Heavenly Father, who is this person to thee? What can I do to help? Suddenly, there's the Spirit. Spirit enters, and I knew then how to begin praying. What can I do? Uh, what can uh, others do? Uh, what might she do, et cetera? And then suddenly, the prayer opened up. Waiting on the Spirit and following it in the prayer is, to me, the best way to know how to proceed in prayer. Mm -hmm.